New London Road from where you stand now is St. John African Methodist Church, formerly one of the AUMP churches. St. John is the oldest church in the New London Road community and, like its fellow churches, has a rich and long history. The AUMP denomination also grew out of Peter Spencer's 1813 African Union Church, like Mount Zion's UAME. The AUMP Church was originally a Methodist Protestant church, but in the 1960s switched to an Episcopal structure. This particular congregation was organized around 1848, and services were held in a log cabin that stood where the current structure is now. The log cabin was replaced in 1867 with the current structure, which was heavily remodeled in the 1960s. In 1890, St. John AUMP was officially incorporated and finally renamed St. John African Methodist Church in 1996. St. John has always been dedicated to serving its community, providing spiritual education through Bible study and Sunday school, and remembering its members through memorials and tributes. Alvin Hall remembers attending St. John regardless of his other activities. I had to go to church. Like uh, at, at 14 or 15, I was playing ball and seemed to be a pretty good athlete. And teams like the Alco Flashes would request that I play with them. I could not go play with them until I went to church. So a, a car from Wilmington would be there at my house at 12 o'clock when church let out. Reverend Steve A. Wright, who has been with St. John since 2002, currently leads the church. St. John is active in the community and continues to be well attended, just as in 1848. The intersection where you are now standing of New London Road and Cleveland Avenue is the heart of the community. This spot has seen a lot of history. It has seen houses and businesses and schools come and go. It has seen students walking up the hill to school and then students attending Newark High after desegregation. It has seen babies born in its houses and its elderly buried in the cemetery on Rose Street. But most of all, this spot has seen the love and friendship of a community, a neighborhood, an extended family. When asked what she would want future generations to remember about this community, Marva Smith said, I would like you to remember that this was an area that was a caring, um, this area was made up of people, residents who were caring people, who cared not only for their immediate family, but for the community as a whole. And the people here were supportive of these young people, they encouraged them to get as much education as they could, to do well in whatever they were doing, but never to forget the family values that they had learned along the way. Arnold Saunders is proud of this community. You'll be amazed how, for a small community, how educated that we got ourselves during that time. We've got school teachers, we've got principals that come out of New York. It's, it's just overwhelming the, uh, the talent that came out of, uh, out of that small village in Newark. Uh, pro football players, pro baseball players, uh, how we persevered uh, against all odds in the depression, how they survived uh, with the little that they had. But Alvin Hall sums up the community and its history the best, explaining... One of the, the things that nobody knows about is the, the, the harmony of the community, um, how people lived so close together, got along so well, and had no fear of, of the um, difficulties that you have today of, of, um, of crime, mischief that is done maliciously. That didn't go on in the black community during that time. This ends our tour. This walking tour would not have been possible without the time, patience, and generosity of the community members who grew up here, who have lent us their stories, their voices, and their pictures. 
We would also like to thank the Special Collections Library at the University of Delaware, the Newark Historical Society, Dr. Denise Heyman, Dr. Patty Wilson, Dr. Bernard Herman, Katie Euling Holstein, and Dr. Margaret Anderson, UD Interim Deputy Provost. We would also like to thank Crystal Heyman Sims, Marva Smith, Vicki Penn, Lindsay Saunders, Sylvester Wolford, and Ardella Washington. Thank you for taking this walking tour of the neighborhood. We hope that you have learned much about the history, love, and friendship that were created along these streets and can take home a newfound respect for the New London Road community.